On the way to the party, excuse us for the tardy. Had to pick up a Mari and cop some Bacardi. Bartenders pour some shots, so I'm starting to get high. You ain't the five bitch, I think not. You can't stand in this spot. Oh, I hope to the DJ. This a song you finna play. Let me grab that mic. Oh, I'm feeling right. Ain't no worries, ain't no stress tonight. We a little drunk, so be polite. Staring at me, oh, what a light. I guess you got some stage right. So DJ, turn these lights all out. Come and meet me on the dance floor. Play something nice and slow. So DJ, turn these lights all low. Come and meet me on the dance floor. Play something nice and slow. What's up, y'all? Welcome to the motherfucker After Starty Podcast. We're back in this Thursday night at 7, 8 p.m. And I'm so happy that y'all joined us tonight. You know, let me back to y'all motherfucker house like all the time. And, you know, I have a special guest, and I'm so happy that you came. You put up on me in L.A., so let them know who you is. You know, we in their house and want to be rude. Period. What's up, everybody? My name is Tariq Ali. Yeah. Happy to be here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, you know, so I mean, what else you want me to say? You're supposed to be like, I'm Siri Ali and I do this, I do that. I oh, do girl, this. they can Google. I don't want to glow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nah, I feel it. I don't want to glow. But yeah, my name is Tariq Ali. Uh, you may know me from YouTube, uh, social media. I'm a screenwriter. I write TV shows and movies. That's what's up. Um, yeah, been doing this for a while. Used to have platinum hair. Yeah, I don't anymore. Now it's the brows. There we go. That's me. Here. I'm stop playing with you. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, you know, it's really fucking early, and I just feel like we're not going to take shots today, y'all, because it's really fucking early, and I'm just not going to take shots. But I do have, like, a little margarita mixed in, you know what I'm talking about? So y'all just be, you know, fucking with me on the vibe and shit like that. You ready? I'm so I'm so excited. Let's get into <laughs> it. So I have a lot of questions I want to ask you, and the first question I have is, because I'm in L.A., I just want to ask, how do you think L.A. is? Well, have you ever been, like, down south, like, to yeah. Atlanta, Texas, things like that? Yeah, I went to college in Atlanta. Okay, cool. Well, when I, okay, I you don't mean count that as the South. South I don't count that as the Ooh, South. Yeah. Oh, okay. What you do? You consider North Carolina the South? No, that's North Carolina. Okay, it's still the South, but it's not it's the not deep the South. south. You from Man, deep Houston, Louisiana, New Orleans. That's like, that's the deep South. The deep south. south. Don't even go more south, south than that. That's just Mexico, girl. So well, yeah. y'all in the deep <laughs> South. Have you been out there? Yeah, I've been out there. Yeah, I've been okay, to Houston. Cool. Okay, so I've you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. All right. So what's the vibe different? You like the deep South? You live in LA. Okay, so I've been to the Deep South, but I, I don't think I've experienced it in the way that I need to. Like, I've never been in a real way. Like, every time I've gone, it's been small trips or for an event or for a mission. It wasn't, like, to hang out with natives and to be with, like, friends. Not so. natives. I've never heard me be called a native. No, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just... Every time I went, it just was, like, not an experience where... I experience like Houston culture. And shit yeah, like that. culture. There we go. So. Okay, so you think LA? Do you think LA has culture? Absolutely. Okay, what's the LA culture? Like, okay, what is LA food known for? Because we were trying to figure it out yesterday, and I ain't fucking know. Is it tacos? Well, you got to understand that California and Los Angeles, when you look at the anthropology of it all, came later than like the South, the East Coast. Like the East Coast was there first, and then the Louisiana Purchase, everything, boom, boom, boom. So a lot of the culture over here is kind of like second culture. Mm-hmm. So like even a soul food don't taste the same. Because you got to understand the black people out here was black people from the South that moved over. Mm-hmm. So it, they make it different. Like I don't like how they put, they a lot of them put flour in their mac and cheese. And that's normal cool. for some... A lot of them out here. Ooh, oh. A lot of them oh. out here. And that's normal. That My like family, we don't. But some soul food, some people put flour in their mac and cheese for the roux. But out here, everywhere you go, you're going to taste flour. And I don't like that. It's cakey. It has like this pasty taste to yeah. it. I don't like that. Yeah. I like, I like actually milk. Don't like, I actually don't like macaroni and cheese, though. Like the grandma style, I hate that. It's okay. disgusting. Okay. It's disgusting. Okay. I'm, I'm going to let you Speaking of grandma it. style, though, Thanksgiving is coming up, things like that, right? Mm-hmm. What's the best thing your granny be making? Like, well, who be cooking for your family? Your mama and them? Well, my direct family, we are the cooks of the larger family. So Everybody, I'm a cook. Everybody's a what cook. What you make for Thanksgiving? Every, What's your Thanksgiving down. thing, though? Well, I'm I'm young. So I'm, they no, don't no, let no, me no, cook no, like no. that. Okay, well, but if you had to cook like that? I make everything. Like, when I do it out here, I had, last year, I didn't go home for Thanksgiving. I'm Everybody came to my house. Mm-hmm. And I cook macaroni, cheese, collard greens, you know. Uh, I mean, everything. All soul food. So my family's Southern, so like, you don't consider it the South. But my family's from North Carolina originally. Like, mm. the slaves that I'm a descendant from, they're from North Carolina. So they eat soul food every single day. It's not like, oh, let's go to a soul food restaurant. No, my parents, like, my grandparents eat soul food every day. So smother pork chops, fried fish. Like, so it's real bad. But, so I cook down. Okay, I feel Yeah, it. so all of it. All right, so do you feel like um, black culture can be different based on what state you live in? Absolutely. In what ways? 
Well, we're not a monolith, so. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. Come here, you be using some big ass words. Oh. I don't be knowing nothing to me. What Here's does that girl, mean? I love a good word. Okay, what is what a monolith? That yeah. just means that something is like not one tone, like okay, gay okay. people, right? There's not just one experience of gay people. There's all different types of gay Babe. people. There's all different types of queer people, you know. So just like black people, you got black people that like this type of music, like that type of music, like, like anime. don't like macaroni and cheese. Do you like have macaroni to do and too cheese? Much. Okay. You know, girl, I got it. Stand <laughs> She's with like, me. Don't stand with me. <laughs> Unity, girl. You like T Y. Period. But no, Wait, that's what I mean. You eat chitlins? I'll say I'm not a chitlins girl. How do you not blame? I like the smell of it a little bit. It's a weird obsession. Like you know how you like gasoline? No. That's pff, you know how you like the smell. Of, you don't like the smell of gasoline? No, that's fucking weird. I'm that's, weird, there, girl. Bit. Okay, I feel like I you have like a gasoline, community out there. Like, the people listening. People like the smell but of I gas. Like the, I Expo like you, markers. No, that's weird. What? You're just saying random shit now. Th- there's a community okay, for I me like out the smell there. Of a, I'm not I like crazy. A, I like the smell of a Home Depot. I do too. I like the wood smell. Me too. The industrial smell. There you go. Construction they put workers. it in candles. Just like chitlins, I like the smell of it, but it's chewy. And once you eat, I, the texture, you know So you like the smell eating. of shit. Girl, what that got to do with it? Chitlins. Hell no. Nah. That's what it's like. Hell no, nah, girl. <laughs> that's what chitlins Hell nah, is. Girl. And you know, that that's that's the key because being gay that's men, girl, we, that's, we got it like this. No. Uh, come on now. Okay. Okay. I don't see that. Uh, uh, no. what, you, what you mean you don't see that? I don't see you have to smack the smell of shit to be gay. No, no that's not what nah. I said. Oh, you twist the words, girl. Twist the okay, words. Okay, well, for me, that's then. That's not what I said, okay, girl. Well, I'm saying you may smell a little bit, girl. I know, yeah. A day where you wasn't prepared. You ever caught a cramp? You ever caught a cramp while having sex? I have. That's such an interesting question. It's very niche. It's I like have. everyone calls, calls catches camps. Like even like it wasn't. Even it's not fucking, frequent. If it's frequent, girl, you need to drink some more water, girl. That means you ain't got enough frequent. water in your system, girl. The muscles. Do you need? It's it? frequent for me. You not drink? It's that margarita, girl. You need to get some water, girl. I be drinking water. Like, oh I, no! Like, whenever I see like a water fountain or something, I be like, you know what I'm saying? You drink out of water fountains? Oh, you drink tap water. I don't. Do you feel like I'm, water I'm got a, a changed taste? girl. Huh? Do you feel like water got a taste? Absolutely. I'm, don't favorite? give me Dasani. If you pass me Dasani, I'm passing I ain't it you give me, First of all, if you give me, first of all, I say it was a hurricane in Houston, right? Mm-hmm. And like, you know, water was scarce. Is that the word? Mm-hmm. Okay, you know, Period, you know, girl. Look at me. Yeah. All right, so water was scarce. Uh-huh. It, uh, I had somebody donate some water to me, and they gave me Dasani. And you know what I went to them and say, you know what? Keep it. Because I ain't say that I took it because I never know how long I might have to get <laughs> need that damn with this hurricane. Yeah. But it gave me like, you think I'm going to drink some fucking Dasani? It ain't got that hard over here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can I'm drink. If, if You know how Chick-fil-A, they got to deal with Dasani. So every time you go to Chick-fil-A, you get a Dasani, girl. If it's cold, I mean, it got to be like ice age cold for me to drink it. No. But if it's room to... Ugh. Fuck no. It's real bad. I don't you like can taste the sediments and all of that. I don't I like, feel it. like I feel like it's nasty. Okay, so what's with avocado toast? LA avocado. LA gave me avocado toast vibes. It is a thing out here. I don't eat it. I, I like used, it. I used to. I'm getting into avocado because all of the health health things that has in part of it. I love avocado. I just I had an avocado moment with to- avocado toast moment when I first moved here, but that lasted like three months. It's too yeah. plain for me. That's what I feel like. It's too plain for me. Yeah, I, even when you put salt and pepper on it, eh, it's cute. But don't give me that again, girl. Give me some bacon. Girl, give me bacon. Oh, no. You like turkey bacon? I'll eat it. You don't like turkey bacon? I'll eat it. You like chicken and apple sausage? Ap- down. Yeah. Down. That's not common. I think that's a rich bitch luxury. Absolutely. Because when you tell people like, wait, you ever had chicken and apple sausage? He said, <laughs> <laughs> it's the subtle, yeah. <laughs> this is like, yeah, I have. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but I want some pork bacon in my, my country. My, my country. My family is country, so they go to a butcher. We get all of our meat. My granddad oh, goes to a butcher. get real meat. My, I'm, and that's what I'm saying. You, know, you say this is not the South. Girl, and my family's from I'm not Virginia. saying my people don't do that. But it's like we go to like a, a person. My granddad goes to a butcher and we order a cow and it lasts us a year. No, we don't get real fucking animals, real meat. I'm you not don't getting order no the cow, I'm bitch. Not, you not driving with the, the cow in the okay, backseat. Okay, so what do y'all take a home? Girl, you order the cow and they just, they prepare the cow. They cut up all the meat in and different package types of ways. all the parts of the cow. In different type of ways. So you may get some tea Just like you would steaks. get from a grocery store, except you pick, you get the cow. So and why do you keep saying the cow though? Because it, it's a cow. Are you ordering, when you walk in and pull your fucking number in the meat shop, are you saying, can I have a cow? Yeah. Are you saying, he, it's a farmer. You go to a farmer, he has cows, and if, it, if that's Jerry, you buying so Jerry. Is he so he's going to go and butcher you like, Jerry. Maybe in the package that comes with his ground beef, T-bone steaks, like, is it like a cow? Are you ordering you, cow Oh, beef? they give it, he gives it to you in his big old cooler. 
Jerry's cut up. What the fuck are we You got the about? hip, the shoulder, the neck bone, the yeah, all of that. So he yeah, makes it different so you check off of what meat. you want from Jerry. Out of a cow. From that cow. How much is the cow? I don't know, girl. I ain't about no cow. Do y'all buy pigs? I don't know. I don't think my girl I got has. something to say. I forgot to talk to my partner today. Um, one time, uh-huh. I had, so one thing I'm not going to eat, I'm not eating a rotisserie pig. That, that big ass pig, they be putting on them sticks and rotisserie in them hoes. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. That's weird. That's not you think weird. That's weird. It's not weird. It's cultural for some people, but I feel like it's like, it's a little aggressive to be in your house. It is a little aggressive. I walked into a baby shower and oh, they had that the baby shower. Hmm, had that big ass pig on the table in the house in the kitchen. Like, that fat ass pig, like, why we just rotisserie? Like, and I got to lie, I just do feel, <laughs> I genuinely feel like that's weird. Like, you know what's so funny? You love that word weird. It's funny. But you know what? That's actually royalty. Because, you know, when you look at, like, medieval stuff, oh, the king. No, seriously. The king, when you look, the king, they would have the pig on the table. So it's supposed to signify class and high luxury. Like, you know, you've seen. It was on a fucking foldable table. Hey, girl. I can see it was on, like, a nice, you know. I just I just think my 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 family loves it. It's good, too. I've never had it. Y'all just be picking off of it? I've never had it. But my family does it. Every time they do it, I've never been there. It's scary. Yeah, it's, it's a bit much yeah. to just see a whole pig right I in front of you. I watch videos of a nigga who, like, eat frogs and shit. Okay. He from Florida? No. He from, uh, I don't know. Okay. He's not from this country. I know they like frogs in Florida. What's the weirdest shit you ever ate recently? Not ass. That's not weird. Um, it's an aphrodisiac, though. What's the weirdest thing I, I've eaten? Oh, I, I love escargot. What you like that? escargot? Come on. I, I'm from the South. What is Snails. it? Snails. No. Ew. Baby. Well, I, I tried, I tried on the cruise. That Let me tell you though. something. I like though. cruise food. While count. you here, I'm going to give you a place to go to to eat. You're going, going to fall in love. Thank I, you so much for your recommendation. No, I'm dead ass serious. You got a suck machine? No, they give you some bread. They give you six. I'm telling you, you will fall in love. I put money on it. No, I walk you, me through it. Tell me. How you, you, it's pieces of bread, uh-huh. and they give you the snails with the bread. No shell. You put the huh? Is a shell on it? It's a snail, girl. I don't. Well, I mean, sometimes they take it out. The yeah, it's in the shell. Okay. So then you you pick it out, put it on the bread. What does it taste like? Chicken. It's meat. Black people think anything that's meat tastes like chicken. Meat do be tastes like meat. It tastes like meat. So meat do it taste like, like, like chicken or do it taste like meat? It's like meat. It tastes like escargot. It's rubber. And you're going to love it. It's like gum. It's really good. It's had, really good. I had squid. Squid is cute. The whole thing. The head and all. Ugh. You like the legs, huh? Um, yeah. I don't, think I've, I don't think I've had squid. I think I've had octopus. No, I had squid. Whole head. It's a I place in Houston, and they give you, like, unlimited squid. I don't think I've had that. It's cool. I I'll like try eating, it. I like eating weird shit in front of people to make them uncomfortable. You, I got a snake you got a kink fridge. out of that? No, I got a snake in the fridge. I don't kink shame, but that is a kink. If is I that... had a snake, would you mind? You have a snake? Can I eat it? Go ahead. I don't eat a goddamn snake. Why not? That's not uncomfortable. Would I don't. You eat a snake? It's very hard for me to. Well, not really, but I, I'm. If you like the snake, I would love to see you eat a snake. Mm-mm. If that, if you're into that, I don't, I don't. So what's some weird shit that you're into? Hmm. I can go first and make you feel comfortable. See. Go ahead. Give me an idea because I don't see a lot of things that I do is weird because I just accept it. I'm just like, girl, this. Okay. Food weird. I like ketchup on my macaroni when I do have to eat macaroni. You like ketchup, don't you? No. You put ketchup on your eggs? Fuck no. What am I, a country? No, a lot of people do that. That's fucking A up. lot of people do that, don't that's they? Like the, that's up north. Egg, no, one no a shit. lot of people put ketchup on their eggs and it's disgusting. But my brother does it. He loves it. So I just don't judge. Uh, I'm not putting ketchup on my eggs. But anyways, keep going. Uh okay, food wise, that's what I like. Mm-hmm. Just me wise, weird shit, kinky shit. Mm. I'm more of a like a. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I know. It's okay. I Same don't place. know. You mean eating or just in general? In general, weird things. I'm in. I just what is weird? Um, I kind of like when a plane is in the air and it feel like we're like going through like a lot of turbulence. I love that. Mm. I love that. Mm. It's like an adrenaline rush for me. I like, can see that. We may crash. You like roller coasters too? No, I'm scared of them. Mm, that's interesting. But I love that. Roller coasters give me like you trying, like you want me to be scared. You know what I'm saying? A plane is a dice roll. Because one day I may be excited for this and it may be today. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Type shit. You know, I thought my plane was going down once. It's an adrenaline rush. You know, I was calm. Exactly. I don't know. I just feel like if God wanted me to be out, I'd be out. And I don't think he but I also didn't think I was going to die. We was going down. But I didn't think I was. I don't know. I just didn't feel like God was done with me. He had too much going on for me. I was like, I don't even see this happening. I'm telling people that's not how my story ends. When they be like, shit looking like it's real bad for me, I'll be like, that's not my story. 
That's hey, not how my story gonna end. Hey, you'd be very surprised. I would be I'm very not surprised. Ca- I'm not calling it to no, you. No, I get what you're saying, <laughs> but that's not how. That's I'm not claiming it. Period. Yeah, we manifest in a long, happy life. I, I submit to whatever God wants for me. No, I'm going to have to. Yeah. Honestly. Not I'm going to have to. We I'm going to have to. You're going to have to, too. If God say now, now it's now. Okay. Period. Period. Fuck it, I'm out. Yeah. Anyway. Damn, I can't think of anything weird. I wish it was like a multiple choice. Because I do. I like weird oh, shit. Um, multiple choice. Let's see. What's some weird shit? I mean, weird is so. That's what I'm like. I don't. I don't know. I don't hide anything. I'm so transparent that, like, I think in order for you to think it was weird, that's something you probably wouldn't tell people. But I would tell you. Would you? Okay. Weird. Mm-hmm. Would you? Hmm. Not weird, but question. Random mm-hmm. question. Do you kiss your parents in the mouth? No. Have you ever? No. That's not weird to me. It, I have. It, I, I don't think dad. it's weird. I think if that's something that you've done with your parents growing up, then I don't think it's weird. I don't weird. do it now at this big ass age, but I yeah. used to. I'm not gonna lie, it was normal to me. Even if you did it, I wouldn't see it as weird. Unless I see a little tongue and it's giving me like, like, <laughs> Never gonna do that. Yeah, unless it's Why? Like, <laughs> No, I'm just saying, you know, like, I don't think it's weird. If that's what you and your, your parents do, cool. But once I see a little intimacy in there, girl, that's when it becomes like, hmm. No. You know? No. Have you ever thought any of your friends' parents was like hot? Absolutely. I've never thought that. But maybe You haven't seen south. some hot parents then. I'm down south. Everybody daddy like look, look like they daughter type shit. And everybody's son like they mama. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. You I've been to I've been attracted to a couple people's parents. Never to like do something, but like, damn, your your daddy fine. No bullshit. I be scared of parents though. <laughs> really? I don't like meeting parents. You ever made like a relationship? Well, I used to be like that when I was younger. So you ever met one of your significant other's parents? Yeah. How was that went? Did they like you honestly? Do you know what's so funny? I have one of the most Disney Channel movie type experiences with one of my ex's parents. And it was so cheesy to a point where I was like, He's, this nigga's dead ass serious. Like, okay, so one of, one of my exes, I've only had two boyfriends, but one of my exes, I meet his dad, right? We go to his house, boom. Mm-hmm. The boyfriend going with his sister somewhere, and he's like, Tariq, come here, let me show you something. This nigga take me into the garage, close the door, Go into this like cabinet and pulls out a shotgun. And he said, I just want you to know, I care about that boy in there. And if if you ever do something, I was smiling, like, nigga, who is you scaring? I'm from the hood. I don't know. I don't know. It just didn't scare me. It was cute to me. It was funny. You know, most people would have been shaking up. I was like, nigga, you ain't gonna shoot me. What? I'm not fucking <laughs> with you. You, you show shoot me, me a shotgun, like, no, be fucking. Yeah, and he beefy too. But it was just funny. I, I, just, I really was not scared. I thought that was hilarious. I was like, wow, this is a movie. You're really taking this that serious, girl. Okay. I'm not even to your I'm not even into your son like that. What's but, the best? Whoa, wait. Huh? Huh? Hmm. <laughs> you didn't give a fuck. I didn't say that. Obviously. But, the going man be like, man. He was man. making it seem like we was getting married. Like, I felt like that's something you do before, like, a wedding or something. I was like, girl, like, like it's not kidding. I don't meet parents. Hmm. What's the fucking point? Your mama, you your mama gonna you lie to me. Point. Your mama gonna lie to me. Your daddy gonna lie to me. What I'm saying is talk to Why your parents about. To- you gotta heal, baby. What's going on? I've healed. Ooh, I've done the work. You said that real fast. I've done the work. I don't know, girl. I'm a heal bitch. Oh, God. You got some feelings in there. It's, it's, no, for real. Well, no, I feel like you don't think, okay, you don't think, yo, you don't think your people are lie to your significant other for you? Well, yeah, but like for okay. your first reaction to be, they gonna lie to me, girl. What happened? Why would they not lie to what you? Happened? My mama better lie for me. My mama gonna ride or die. I should expect my mother to lie. Lie about what? If I show my mama somebody I'm fucking with today and tomorrow I put somebody else in the house, she better be like, wow, he never brings no one home. Because I don't. That's sad. No, that's true. That's a ride or die. That's a mother. She gonna ride you to death. That's what she gonna <laughs> do. I'm girl. ready for it, baby. You ain't gonna be married Parents that gonna long. lie. Your parents should lie for you. No, they should not. Man, if I'm fucking five people in one night and my mama know that and the next day I bring you around and she be like. That's different, though. No, it's not. Because that's not her business to tell. It's some parents that tell. You well, see that's that girl not on Twitter? Place. That's wrong too. I see what Twitter, you mean. Uh, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. On God, that's what I'm saying. But you got to lie. That's lying. I think that that's, that's not their that? place. It's not telling the truth. It's not their place. It's not like I've the had truth. some friends. I've seen one of them. You know, either either one of them doing whatever. I if it's my friend, I may communicate it. But if it's not, that's not my place. It ain't my relationship. Yeah, ain't, you I know. Ain't gonna lie. I feel like this. So, like, I had a friend, right? Mm-hmm. She was getting, like, just, you know what I'm saying? You ever had a friend that be getting, like, cheated on? You be trying to tell that bitch, like, girl. I, d- I have. Be fucking for real. Aww. You know what I'm saying? And I used to tell her. Yeah. I love her. To this day, I love her. But I used mm-hmm. to tell her. 
Do you ever feel like sometimes, like, you probably shouldn't tell your friend when they get cheated on? Absolutely, yeah. I think, I like, think. Like, what's the point? Um, there is definitely a point, but I think that. <laughs> I feel like it's not I think place. it's a case by case situation. But for me personally, if you are my close friend, mm-hmm. close friend. You, no, you, if you're my you best got, friend, bitch, I'm you telling got, you right. Bitch, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, calling yeah. you in front of this hoe. You got different tiers of friends. And if you're a Facts. close friend, I'm telling you, I don't care about the consequences. Some people have had instances where they told and then they lost a friend. That is, I think that's a bit selfish because that means that you're, you're, you're caring more about losing this person than this person's well-being. So for me, I want to tell you so you can make a decision. And if you want to stop being friends with me, that's not my fault. That's you. Because you, you go stay with him. Go ahead, girl. Y'all can be done in five years. You can come back running to me. But yes. I don't know. So I'm just always honest. But if we not cool like that, like I just see you when we go out, girl, that ain't my business, girl. Facts. That ain't okay. my business. Okay. So I feel like, have you ever been cheated on? I have, yeah. Damn. Have you healed? I wasn't hurt. <laughs> I really wasn't. Yeah, I got cheated on too. Yeah, I wasn't hurt. I don't take that personal. Why? Look at me. Then you should take it personal. No, I'm just saying, like, if you cheated, they got nothing to do with me. It got to do with they. Exactly. Know. That's all you, baby. I don't fucking. I don't internalize that. Anyways, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't internalize that. Yeah, yeah. I don't internalize that at all. I, I give a lot. I pour so much. Now, and how much have you gave? What you mean? Like, how much have you gave? Like, when have you knew? Like, how much do you give to a nigga? Like, a lot. I pour. What's a lot? My, have you gave your last? I, child, I never run out to give a last. Well, have but you gave? You know, I, what I'm my saying? last. Have you gave fifty percent of you? I've given. Okay, well, this one dude, I was paying the bills, your and I, I, I right now I live in a three bedroom, and so one of the rooms I was going to allow him to make the guest room into his studio because he, you know, and so I was I was holding the nigga down, but I feel like that's just being a partner. I just <laughs> so y'all not fucking each other anymore, right? No. Okay, if he was get rich tomorrow, which we said he's already rich. He was get richer, um, like no. billionaire. I don't. They ain't got nothing to do with me. You don't think sometimes, like when you holding somebody down and they can, like be rich through. You remember acrimony? Well, he was already wealthy. He's wealthy though. He's not rich. His his family's rich, so wealthy. So, I, and then even if if he did get rich, good for him. Hmm. I don't see other people's as mine, girl. I can get my own. I don't I know. Love it. I love I'm it. really no seriously. No, yeah. I be, okay, so my problem is I be emotionally like detached. Like, mm. I feel like I feel like I'm really good at like making it seem you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Nah, I mean, that sounds so bad. But no, like, don't, ju- don't judge yourself. But like I feel like I'm you know what I'm saying? Like I feel like then they always like I assume the worst. Yeah. Like I really don't believe nothing. Yeah. Like when I'm fucking with people, I like it could sound so lovely to me. I can make You it get so afraid lovely. to get close to them? Cause what's the fucking point? You so know you, what I'm saying? You do, you do get you afraid. don't feel like everything in the whole wide world, like, that's deep. <laughs> That's a, oh, I mean, world, if you like, watch, come on, let's do it. Let's but like, you deep. don't feel like everything gonna end like bad anyway. Not everything in the whole wide world. Let's let's take that back. But like, mm-hmm. relationship wise, like anything, like I just like every relationship is stupid. I get that. How were your relationships like growing up? Like, especially with, with men, friends? with men. Oh, when because are you gay? Um, do you just yeah. date men? Okay. Yeah. So your relationship with men. How have your relationship with men been before this? Like all your life. I mean, I only fucked one nigga before. No, not even just dating. Just your oh, dad, your brother, oh. like. Just okay. men in general, what has your relationship history been with men? My dad was cool. He was misunderstood. I feel like, well, I'm, I guess I'm judging now. But, mm-hmm. you know, that wasn't perfect. My brother wasn't perfect. So that, and there's only two people, men, that was in my life. So I yeah. feel like growing up, not a good relationship with niggas. Yeah. Um, I'm from Houston. I say niggas a lot. I'm sorry. I've said okay. niggas so many times. Okay, cool. <laughs> I feel like I keep saying that. You keep saying me and I'm talking about some niggas. All right, but um, everybody else after that. Bad. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I have never been bad experiences. And so, and this is this is why I ask because it, it makes sense that looking forward, you wouldn't even see a relationship working with a man if all the relationship you had before didn't work out. No, nah, I love my daddy and my brother. No, 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 no. It's not about loving, but it's about like how much you put in and how much you've getting back. So, oh, if yeah, you've nah, gone a these longer time with not having the best relationship with men, then you're gonna look forward and think it's gonna stay the same. Why would you think it would change? True. You've went a longer time with bad relationship with men than good, so it's gonna take a while for you to have. An understanding that oh I can have a relationship and it'll be good. You have to create that new norm. Thanks. Okay, so yeah. I feel like this. I feel like, like okay, so like do you ever feel like you ever miss somebody be like showing you different shit though? Like you be like damn. Say again. Yeah, if like you miss somebody be like damn, maybe my attitude is bad. Absolutely. I hate my that ex, shit. I love it. I hate it. Oh, don't be trying to tell me about myself. Me you don't so know much. me. You know my ex helped me grow so much. He was so toxic, <laughs> but he showed me so. <laughs> yeah, he was so toxic. I mean, it was it was, it was emotionally and mentally abusive, but. Like, he taught me so much um, about myself just being that in love. I've never been in love. He was mm-hmm. the first time I've ever been in love. 
Mm-hmm. Um, and being in love shows you sides of yourself you've never seen, especially when you didn't have that much love with your parents. And, like, I was juggled around homes. I was homeless. Like, both of my parents were recovering addicts, prison, all of that. So he taught me a lot about how I am in connection with love and how I act when mm-hmm. I'm receiving love. It just, it, I, le- I learned so much. I feel that. I love that for you. See, yeah. my problem is, see, like, I always feel like I've always been this way. Fuck these niggas. Like, real nigga shit. Like, yeah. Fuck, nah, not me. Not me. I'm cool. I'm cool people. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. But fuck these niggas. Not you. You cool people too. But I feel that. I feel niggas. like that right now. Niggas ain't. I don't know. Maybe I feel in like California. That right now. These are maybe good men out oh, here. Oh, dating out here is trash. Oh, okay. Garbage. Oh. I mean, ugh. Oh. I had It's hope. disgusting. I thought I found me a man yesterday. You found you a man? I thought so. You saying it's bad. Well, that's just my experience, but yours could be great. He said he loved me already. But everybody says it about L.A., though. Even straight women, straight, like, everybody's dating in L.A. is not, like, you literally, everybody says What's that. What's bad about it? Is it, like, too fast-paced? <clears throat> you just got to understand why a lot of people come to L.A. Why do people come to L.A.? Fast-paced life, trying to make it, mm, I guess. Trying right? to make it. So everybody come out here for an opportunity. So when you come out here for that, people kind of just maneuver through this city with that mentality. The first thing they ask you when they meet you, your Instagram, how many followers, what do you do? They ask you for followers? Down. That's embarrassing. Down. That's not me. And if they don't ask directly, they just say, oh, what's your Instagram? We should connect. And they just do that just to see what, how normal. big you are. I'm not getting your number. Yeah. So, I, 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 yeah, but so everybody does that. And so even when you go out, you'll notice when you go out here, a lot of a lot of times they don't dance. They don't have fun. They're just there to be seen and to see who's here, see who's what, what click, who can I connect with. It's all like everybody's just out here grinding and making something of themselves. So it just kind of sl- like slides over into the dating realm. So I love that. Okay. Not I love that. I hate no, it. No, I love it. Let me tell you why I love it. I feel like this. I feel like sometimes, do you feel like that you have to, would you fuck with somebody that had like nothing going on for yourself? No. So what's wrong with the being fast paced and I'm trying to figure out? What you mean? Like I wouldn't <laughs> fuck with nobody that had nothing going on for themselves. What do you mean when you say not, got nothing? I like, know what, I'm, some what people, I took that as. Okay, but. I mean, okay, my version. Mm-hmm. There's some people who legit are okay with living like a copacetic life. Like, I'm okay with just not trying to achieve goals. I'm okay with just, like, being where I'm at. Like, that's what I mean. That's okay. I just feel like it depends really? on where you're at. Yeah. Not oh. everybody wants so much more. And I don't think there's but anything there, I feel like that. you can Okay, it's okay not to want so much more, but do you want something? It, that's why I said it depends on where they're at. There's some people who, like. Because say I, you became a firefighter or a teacher. and you Be your best firefighter and be the best fucking teacher you could be. I stand for this. Yeah, but they don't want more. They just, they No, they that's fine. But, that's but, okay, what I'm let me, Maybe I'm doing better. What I'm saying is, like, they legit, like, are, they legit live their life saying, like, oh, I'm not good at anything. I'm not going to be anything. Oh, okay. See that? Yeah, that's, that's that. what I mean. That's what I, spot on what yeah, I mean. I just didn't want to go that deep, but that's what I mean. Oh, yeah. No. Because that, that energy transfers. Exactly, right? Yeah. So, do you ever feel like you, like, how do you, have you ever had to get away from people who you feel like are, like, not motivated in themselves? Um, I don't even think I've ever had to get away from them. I think I don't attract people like that. I think that I make people like that not feel the best about themselves. And I pour a lot into people, so I never judge, but I don't, I don't think those type of people ever really last around me because I'm always doing stuff. That's and I'm true. always, like, talking about what's next. And when they're not talking about that, we have nothing in common. So it's, it's, it's not even about me not liking you and pulling away. We have nothing in common. So we that's have true. nothing to talk about when we go to brunch. So that's really what it's about. That's true. That's yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I never took it like that. Yeah. So my problem is I used to get like really, really sad about like when people used to be like, "Oh, you're out, you're changing up on me," and I feel like, <laughs> like, do you believe in the word outgrowing people? Absolutely. So I feel like my thing is I feel like I get guilt trip when I feel like I'm not growing people. Let them guilt trip. Like, I mean, I feel like I'm growing somebody. I may cut you off, yeah, for like what ten minutes, and then what the next day I'm probably like, you know what, you're my brother. I'm supposed to be fucking with you. You're my sister. I'm supposed to love yeah. you. Yeah. But it's kind of like, damn, like. You're still the same nigga you was yesterday, though. You know, and we all in different seasons, you know? Right. I don't even think... Yeah. I <laughs> I just... Look, the way that I see it, I think we're all jogging, right? Mm-hmm. And I think if we're all jogging, whoever going five miles per hour is going to be beside me because I'm going five miles per hour. If you're going two miles per hour, it's not that I'm leaving you or running from you. You're just not on my speed. So we're not going to be in the same room, baby. I'm mm-hmm. already at the third lap. You're still in the first. Mm-hmm. So it's not even that I'm running from you. We're just not in the same race at this point. Yeah. So it's, I don't, even, I don't even think it's like 
And then I may slow down because because I was going five miles per hour after 10 years, I may want to slow down and enjoy my flowers and enjoy this money I made. So I may slow down to one mile per hour. So somebody who's doing seven, we not, it's just about pacing. So I just see it as seasons and you be with the people I could, I attract and I align with people who are on my speed. That's how I see it. That yeah. That's um, do you think you're an it girl? Down. Or, or, you think you are? Down. Okay, I'm gonna, so I, it. I was gonna wait for you to be like, "What's that?" And I'm gonna be like, "Okay, what is that to you?" But you're gonna answer it. Okay. Oh yeah. What's the it? What's the it girl? Well, I think it's different for everybody. You know, um, I'm an it girl. I'm it. I think I tell people who I am. I I let people know who I am. I, I tell myself who I am, and, and I don't let nobody else tell me what that is. Uh, I rock what I want to rock. I wear what I want to wear. I don't care if you don't like it. You being your these eyebrows bag. is like like not cute to some people. It wasn't cute when I first did it. Now you see all these girls doing it, girl. Yeah. The the like it's. I've always been a trendsetter. So I mean, I don't know. I'm just me. I'm never trying to be something. I'm just me, and yeah. people are attracted to that. So that makes me it. Really, I feel like I love it. Thank you. So do you feel like it's okay? To, like do you feel like people are more like receptive to you being a, like it girl and things like that because you're in LA? Cause I feel like saying that you're an it girl in Houston. Mm-hmm. If I was saying mm-hmm. shit like that, they'd probably be like nigga, what the fuck. Oh, but sometimes I like really look at my life and I'm like, damn, like I'm really doing like a lot of great stuff. Period. I don't want to say it because we tag you it. Fuck no. Oh, but I just feel like yeah. I'm I was like, an I'm, it girl before LA though. That's the thing. I've always been an it girl. Always been an it girl. Before I was even online, I was. An I thought it gotta be in you. Exactly. I feel like you can't make nobody. Exactly. Yeah, like it gotta be in you. And the thing is, ask anybody from PG Maryland, Fort Washington, if you went to Friendly, if you was in DC, whatever. Anybody that know me, high school before social media, people knew me in high school. I was it in high school. I was that annoying nigga. I was that annoying nigga that everybody knew. So I literally have been it. Like that's nothing new. I feel it. I let it. Okay. So I feel like this. Do you feel like you would like date someone who you feel like is like? You know what I'm saying? Like, would you date someone? Do you feel like, how do I write this the nice way? What's a nice way to write this? You ready for this? Don't be, just say how you feel, girl. Do you feel like you would date someone who you feel like could get you further? Like in an opportunistic way? Yeah. Well, no. Really? Well, I don't date for opportunity. I don't need anybody for opportunity. Do you make friends with people for opportunities? Well, yeah, but that's just business, though. I don't think that makes you an opportunist. That makes you a businessman or woman. Okay, I like that. We do that. So I feel like work. people judge people that do that. Be like, oh, you been my, you been this person friend for this. Like, why would I want to hang out with somebody like that can't feed into my bucket or I can't feed into that bucket? And don't get me wrong, I always, you know, even if yeah. you feed into my bucket, I'm gonna bring back to your bucket as well. Yeah. I'm gonna try to present what I can present. But why would I hang out with somebody who I feel like probably would take away from my bucket or won't fill my bucket at all? You know what I'm saying? That's backwards. I mean, I think, I think when you work in this business and you understand this business, I've been doing this a long time. I have friends in Hollywood and. That we know what it is. Like, we're not best friends. I think that's when it becomes a problem when you try to be my best friend. And we, mm-hmm. oh, girl, girl. But you really just here to get something from me. I have friends that we don't talk like that. Like, celebrity friends. Like, I go to your event. You come to my event. Because us being at each other's event makes it a more it event. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like that. Like, that's why we see it on, on Housewives. It's like, you didn't come to my event. And people laugh that that's, like, a fight. But it is a fight. Because you coming to my event is like, oh, Rihanna came to her event. And, like, we support each other. Even with products. You see it with the Kardashians. It, it's just... We understand the business of it, and that's just Hollywood. I think anybody that doesn't understand that just are, they're not a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's, we, and they do it in corporate America. Come on, they go to conferences. You meet other people in IT and tech. He works at Google. He works at like this is business, yeah, and I think because LinkedIn people think we are the brand, I think because we are the brand, people get it confused. But when you separate personal and like Hollywood, like you just got to understand. But when you've been doing it a while, that's what weaves out the people that are just clout chasers. Because there's a difference, girl. You can't just be out, be in here and hanging with us and boom, 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 and you're just taking, taking, taking. What are you giving? Facts. What are you doing? What are you doing for your brand? You being here does nothing for me. It Facts. does everything for you. So it's just like, yeah, it's just no the business, really. So, you think you're better than me? No. I don't think I'm better than nobody. I'm just my best. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I got a question. <laughs> you think you have, like, kids and, like, daughters and sons and things like that? Yeah, I want two minimum, four max. No, not real. Do you think I have, like, people oh. that, like, <laughs> You feel like you have people that emulate you? Like people that Damn. like look at you, inspired by you? Absolutely. Okay. So I don't you, think that's a bad thing. It's not a bad thing unless they try to like, <clears throat> you know, some hateful shit with it. You have people that you know be doing what the fuck you're doing and they be like on some like, man, fuck I've you. seen it. Right? Like, I mean, I've been doing this so long that sometimes I scroll on TikTok and I'll see something. I'll be like, 
this looks so familiar. And I'd be like, oh, because <laughs> I did this five years ago. But it, it's, but that's, that's just music. It, music does that. Artists do that. It's, it's, that's art. Thanks. You know, people are influenced, they're inspired, and they go and they make art and they think about, you know, that person that inspired them. And it's like, I mean, I did this and I was being me and I became a figure and I made trends. So I'm, I shouldn't be surprised when I see somebody doing a trend. I'm so an what influencer, you think, so I shouldn't be surprised when someone's influenced. So what do you think made people like want to watch you? Like what makes you special? My personality and my realness What's and my honesty. Hmm? What's good about your personality? I'm honest. I'm very vulnerable. Um... I keep it, I'm just, I'm just very honest. I'm very vulnerable and honest. And I think that transparency matched with my intelligence and my articulation. It's just, it's refreshing. Also because of my story and where I come from, like I'm not a silver spoon when I came for it. Like, I think my story being that I went through homelessness and everything, like worked hard, got it all. And just, I don't know, just me and speaking and just being me, always just trying new things. Like even from, the, I just keep using the eyebrows because they're so weird, mm -hmm. but I just was bored one day and I just did it. And then, it's like things like that. I just allow myself to be me, um, sharing my fears. Like I, I have body dysmorphia. And so, you know, I grew up obese and I was bullied a lot. And so I shared that while, you know, I was going through it. And then, boom, I got into the gym and I helped people see how I went through that journey. And now with the abs, like it's the journey. It's, it's all of that. I think people just see that they can do that in their lives, too. And I make myself not special. Like I'm not just this pretty, this pretty girl out here. Boom, boom. Like, no, girl, we sad. We're not getting to the bag today. I'm in the bed. So <laughs> like. Just real, because it's human, and yeah, I make people feel So, being that you're open and honest, I want to ask you a question. What uh -huh. do you think is, like, your shittiest trait about you? My shittiest trait? Um, in terms of what? Work, relationships? No, just you. Like, what, like, me? Like, like um, if somebody has to look at that trait or see that trait, they'd be like, damn, you're a shitty person. Oh, I'm not. No, like, I'm not saying you're a shitty No, I, I just don't person. think anybody would say that, because I don't, I don't do anything that's shitty. <laughs> I got a bad attitude. If oh, somebody really? see me on a bad day with a bad attitude, oh, I'm a bad person. Something like that. Like, yeah, I don't. You don't never have a bad day? I do have bad days, but I don't put my, other, my emotions in other people. No, nah, I got to work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if I I'm not lie. okay, I just, I just go and I work on my own shit. I don't put it on, to, uh, on other people. So what's so. one trait that you may had thought was a bad trait, but you worked on it? I used to not know how to talk to people. I know one now that I'm actually working on right now, mm -hmm. but I don't think it's shitty. It's just like I, I'm, shitty or strong I'm, work, I'm really I bad you. at like asking for help because That's growing trait. up. That's pride. Like. But I'm going to tell you why. You're going to see. I, I wasn't, my, my mom was out of the picture. She was in prison. She was doing drugs, whatever, boom, boom, boom. And then my dad, it was, I couldn't ask for my needs. And so I, being young, I couldn't ask for things I needed. So then as an adult, I don't ask for help. And then I get upset because nobody's helping me. And then when people do try to come help me, I make it difficult for them. Yeah, and so true. then I'm like, Ugh, like, I'll just do it myself. And they're like, girl, I'm trying to help you. Like, and so then I get upset because they'll stop and then I get upset because nobody's supporting me. So I think that, but that's just all wrapped up in emotion. But so I think that, but that's something I'm working on right now because I haven't been the best this week and I haven't told anybody, but, and I'm mad because ain't nobody supporting me, but <laughs> I feel that. So do you ever feel like sometimes you judge people, not judge people, but do you ever feel like you look at some of your people around you and be like, are oh, these bitches not helping me? And you have to mm. remind yourself, like, well, damn, did I ever ask for help? Or did, and, like, sometimes we may hint mm -hmm. that we need help, but we're not asking for help. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do you ever have that problem where, like, you're not really just asking for what you need? Because sometimes I may be, like, I may be doing shit around somebody and I just never ask and be like, yeah. may you please help me? I just kind of yeah. ask and be like, damn, you're not going to fucking help me? Like, yeah. That's, that's literally what I just said. Like, I'm, I'm, I, I know what I'm doing. Like, literally in the car before her. I made a TikTok. Literally, you're going to see it. I made a TikTok before I came in here in my car. Saying how I'm mad because nobody's helping me, but I haven't told anybody that I want to help. Like, my birthday is in six days, and I get really nervous with my birthday, with my childhood trauma, like, people not showing up. So, I wanted my friends to help or throw something for me, but I didn't tell anybody that. I didn't tell anybody that. So, I'm just, like, upset right now, and my birthday is in six days. <laughs> so, it's like, I was like, Tariq, you got to tell them. Which one do for your birthday? Honestly. Um, Let them know. Let them know. <clears throat> tell them. Which one do? See, I was having a party because okay. somebody, I was having a party and now that person that was doing it is fucking up everything. So now I'm canceling it. But so now I don't know what I'm going to do. But you ever like a friend that just be fucking up shit all the time? No. You never had a fuck up friend? I have one friend, but he be fucking up his own shit. Ain't got nothing to do with me. I have a fuck up friend. You just, I don't put him in a position to fuck up anything I got going on. I have a fuck up friend. I love that friend. What you mean? What did they do? They used to be doing dumb shit. You have a friend that be oh, doing yeah. dumb shit. Like, Literally. You damn near know, like, that's my dumb friend. Like, I love them. I don't though. call him my dumb friend. No, it's okay to say that. 
Yeah. You think Air Force you got it smart? No. Like but I Harvard. see the seasons. Because look, I was that dumb friend literally just last year in my relationship. I was that girl that I would have an episode with my boyfriend and go back to him. Like I was that friend. We all got seasons. So I don't think it's like you dumb. It's just like, girl, you having your moment, your couple, three years. When you just grow, you see everybody have their seasons, girl. You could be the top of your class, smartest bitch in the room, and do dumb shit. Thanks. So my friend right now, literally two days ago, called me on FaceTime. I'm working. This dude shipped tooth in a cast. Got in a fight last night. I said, what you do now? I like this. Type of shit. Yeah, and I had to go pick him up. And, like, that's his season right now. But he got a he got a bio degree. He's smart. But he doing dumb shit. You know, it's just, you know, so everybody all got our, our times. Like that, for yeah. sure. All right, I'm going to do this. I didn't touch your goddamn mic. Goddamn. All right. So, basically, before we wrap it up, things like that, I want to give you an opportunity to motherfucking dive into my fucking business and things like that, right? Uh-huh. So, basically, I lie. Everyone who comes talk to me at the Zari to give me two questions they want to ask me. I don't care what it is. And if you don't have a question, it can be any topics or things like that. So, get into my business. Get to know me, you know, motherfucking oh. vibes. And okay. Here. What's up? Um, oh, okay. What was your impression of me before you met me when you were, like, looking at my content before you interviewed me versus now after speaking to me? Um, the same. It didn't change. You act the same. On social really? Media. Yeah, you act just the same. That's good. So it just gave me like you. I mean, you had your own. What was, What did you think? <laughs> what did you think of me before? Like what? Happy as hell. Oh, uh, um, you're happy as hell, and you be chilling, and you just, you just give me happy. You just give me like, like you know what I'm saying, like Disney World. Oh, period. You give me like I Disney. That. Yeah, you give me Disney. Yeah. I but, like, moment. not like Disney, like, for the kids. Like, Disney for, like, live action movies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for just the a teenagers. Good time. Just a good time. Type shit. Yeah, that's good. So, you wasn't expecting anything else? Nah. You wasn't afraid I'd be, like, an L.A. girl? Like, what's an L.A. girl? I don't know. Like, just like. You're the first person I'm doing interview. No, just like, what did you think of L.A. people before? Like, people in L.A. Shit, I don't fucking know. Oh, everybody okay. different. I, I will know. I ain't gonna lie. I think like people think Hollywood. Like, like, so Hollywood. Nah, I ain't never like. I, I don't play that. People can't be Hollywood with me. I don't play that. Oh, uh, that's just my life. But uh, I just feel like LA people just. I feel like I expect the LA people to just be kind of like. I don't know. Just that's good. Focus. That's I good. would say focus. That's good. And kind of like about that shit. Wow, that's good. Is that not wrong? Am I wrong? No, no, no. That's good. I'm just. I, I'm just looking at the, the. Stigma of LA before was like you so Hollywood, you so booze, you think uppity, very sedated. But I don't, I don't let people. But I, like that I think with people me. are yeah, changing like, their views about the people in LA. I think people now like it's like, oh, if you in LA, you doing your shit. I mean, you could be booze yeah. as fucking Houston. You can, but I, I you know what I mean. Though, nah, I get right? what you like because yeah. before it was like you so LA, but like I think now people are seeing it like, wow, if you in LA, business. you grinding, like yeah. You, 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 yeah. So that's good. That's a good thing. Yeah, I'm so Houston. Interesting. Like late hood, baby. Yeah. Okay. Right. So what? Yeah, my second. Oh, don't don't go. I got one more I'm question. Not going to I got one more question. What's up? I'm here. Um, hey. how did you feel about the response to old girl online? But what she said about gay men and everything. Oh, okay. Cool. And how did you deal with that? Was that your first time having uh, all of this like online like me, backlash directed or to me? And did you take it personal? Um, directed to me, yeah, that's my first time. Mm-hmm. It was directed directly to me. Was it my first time? Well, no, but that's my first time. Like at that it scale, bothered me. I ain't gonna cap it. Bothered me. What bothered you about it? Um, like damn, I ain't know that I did something that, like I ain't know it's that bad. That's really some real nigga shit. I ain't know it's that bad because mm-hmm. I feel like like on some real nigga shit. Like I've heard that statement so many times from black women to the yeah. point where like I'm so numb to that even sounding homophobic to me that I didn't realize that was homophobic. Like, I've heard that shit all growing up all my life. Like, yeah. from aunties, from people in church and shit like that. So I was just like, yeah, black women. I've been, I also said on my podcast, I'll be like, yeah, I think black women hate gay people. I yeah. said that. Yeah. So I just feel like when she said it to me, it was like a, yeah, another Just another thing. Yeah, you like said. another bitch yeah. just said it. Like, yeah. I've already said it. So I think, like, I think I was just more like in my like feelings about it just because, like, damn, I ain't, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and so how did, was nothing. did you internalize it? How did you feel personally with the backlash? Like, did you. I feel like he was doing something wrong. Like, oh, when I, I posted it, no, I really thought when I saw it because at first it wasn't a clip prior to me posting the episode. When I finally watched the episode, mm-hmm. I was like, oh, that's a good ass clip to make. Yeah, so I was like, that's a good ass conversation. Like somebody mm-hmm. else said it, what I'd already be seeing. So I thought it was gonna be just more open dialogue thing. No, I mean yeah. like from the backlash. I feel about the after, actual backlash. After, yeah, after the yeah the actual backlash. Um, how did you feel about it personally? Like, I feel like people could have been more like informative and not like. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say degrading because that's a stressful ass word. Yeah, but just more like negative about it. I feel like it was like the whole like, oh fuck this nigga, yeah yeah, this nigga's a terrible person. Like yeah. damn niggas, I fucked up yeah. one time. 
But that's how the game go. But I think, okay, and so this is what I have to say about it. I think that, and this is one of the reasons I came. Um, oh, what's up? Was because I think that, like you said, a lot of girls talk like this. This is not like a new opinion. This wasn't something left field. Like anybody that's actually living in social media, a lot of these people that be on social media that be upset don't like don't be in the world. I feel like they have this different world where it doesn't exist. I'm like, y'all have heard this before, but I appreciate your platform and everything y'all are doing because it gives a voice to the way people actually are talking in yeah, their fucking true. lives. And people actually say this. Like, this is not new. I've heard this all my life. And I think because you post it, it does give an opportunity to open the conversation up. Because because she said that, we know a lot of girls, the top comment was a girl was like, she's speaking real. I saw the top comment. So Not that means real. a lot of people resonate with this. I saw so it. before we move to judgment, let's have a conversation about it, y'all, and, and educate on why this was wrong or maybe this isn't it. Or let's have, I just like that the conversation is being open. And if we silence the voices like that, where the thousands of people do think this, we'll never get to the root of it and actually heal it. So what y'all are doing and giving voices to these people that their voices matter too we can have a conversation about it instead of yeah. just shutting them up and saying, why would you give her a platform? I, I like that. But I do think the other side of that is like hosting it. It does put you in a position where you do have a responsibility knowing that some of these things, it's just like Kanye, right? And when he went on the thing with the, that show, what's it, when they be smoking the uh, cigar? The champs. The champs. It was like that, right? Like, and he was saying he didn't know, but it's like it puts you in a position where you know you have a platform and you just have to be responsible with like how it's, sent out and like all of that so i just want to say thank you because you're giving a voice to a lot of people that do need to be heard as well so yeah appreciate you and don't be too hard on yourself and when you're gonna make mistakes it's so fine we're human we don't know every fucking thing you're not omniscient or omnipotent so it's like if you don't know something period y'all i didn't know i'm learning moving on don't ever let somebody think that what you're doing is not good enough this shit is amazing keep doing it um and yeah i had to give you those words appreciate you i said that i received it yeah oh but uh, anyway, y'all. Um, thank y'all for coming to the motherfucking Afzardi podcast. Let them know who you is and that's your Instagram name, Ali. Yes, it's your boy Tariq Ali. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you to Zarya for having me. No, no, for me. I hope everybody has an amazing day. You can find me online at it's Tariq Ali, I T S T A R E K. Don't spell it wrong. Um, and watch out for my TV shows. Yeah. One last yeah. question. We wrap it up. What's some good tacos in LA? It's what's some. Ooh, what's some, hot yeah. some tacos? What's the tacos you want? Le- Oh, she was real ready. Okay. What's go to uh, Leo's. Honestly, go to Leo's. Y'all drive up the street. Even any of those trucks, if you see a line, you good. It's True. LA, so all of them good. But Leo's is like really popular. Just look up Leo's. There's several Leo's. You're going to fucking enjoy it. Yeah. All right. And they're, all. they're cheap down. So you ain't got to spend no $50, girl. They be like $2. Lie. But get a lot. The they're not like tacos and Texas, girl. Tex Mex, girl. They little ass tacos, okay? So you're going to get one, two tacos and be like, that's it? No. Get you like five, six, okay? They're real small. Yeah. Of course. Thank you. Good night, y'all. I don't know the party. Excuse us for the tardy. Had to pick up a Mari and cop some Bacardi. Bought tennis boys, some shots, so I'm starting to get high. He ain't the five, bitch, I think not. You can't stand in this spot. Oh, I hope to the DJ. This is a song you finna play. Let me grab that mic. Oh, I'm feeling right. Ain't no worries, ain't no stress tonight. We a little drunk, so be polite. Staring at me, oh, what a light. I guess you got some stage right. DJs, turn these lights all out. Come and meet me on the dance floor. Play something nice and slow. So DJs, turn these lights all low. Come and meet me on the dance floor. Play something nice and slow. We gon' go all night. We gon' go all night. Sleeves tonight. We gon' go all night, we gon' go all night. Don't care, we do it right, cause we do it right. We gon' live our life, we gon' live our life. I ain't no sleeves tonight, I ain't no sleeves tonight. So now I got you on the dance floor, and you feeling yourself, you trying to let me know what you all about. Trying to figure me out Talking about 
Cause you want the one nine and sixty nine. The club was a head to leaving my friends for you. What you really trying to do? I'm not really good at taboo. Dancing for too long. Sponsor like ping pong. So before the night ain't wrong, better make a move on this song. So DJ, turn these lights all low. Come and meet me on the dance floor. Play something nice and slow. So DJ, turn these lights all low. Come and meet me on the dance floor. Play something nice and slow. We gon' go all night. We gon' go all night. Don't care we do it right. Who cares we do it right? We gon' live our life. We gon' live our life. There ain't no sleep tonight. There ain't no sleep tonight. We gon' go all night, we gon' go all night Don't care we do it right, cause we do 